One X player will soon be releasing their own eGPU docking station, the One X GPU. Let's take a closer look at its features and compare it with the GPD G1 eGPU to find out which model is worth buying over the other. We start with a brief unboxing. First out of the box we have a user guide, it is in English and Chinese languages. Next there is the One X Player One X GPU itself, we will show it in more detail in a moment. Underneath is an enormous 300 watts power supply, we will include the correct plug adapter for your country. And last but not least is a USB 4 cable, please note that an Oculink cable is not included. The One X Player One X GPU measures around 7.7 by 4.7 by 1.2 inches and weighs around 863 grams. On the right side is a power, turbo and RGB lighting buttons. Pressing the RGB button switches to the next pattern in the sequence of lighting on both the left and right sides. There are also two USB 3 ports to finish the right side layout. On the back is a gigabit ethernet port followed by two display ports and HDMI for up to quad monitor support. There are also Oculink and USB 4 ports for data and the power port. The bottom has a removable cover where you can install an NVMe stick to expand your storage. It's very easy to do, simply remove the screw, match the key in up and insert it at a slight angle, push down, fit the screw, close the lid and you're good to go. A brief mention for the power supply, it's an absolute beast. It alone weighs 725 grams but does supply 300 watts of power for use with the dock as well as up to 100 watts charging of devices. A nice touch is that you can remove this part and plug in a kettle lead if you don't want this hanging off the wall directly. It is probably best if you do use a lead. The One X GPU has the AMD Radeon RX 7600M XT GPU, which has 32 compute units up to 2300 MHz. There is 8 gigs of DDR6 RAM. The internal NVMe storage, if you choose to install one, accepts M.2 2280 SSD in the PCIe3 slot. In our power test, we run the Street Fighter 6 benchmark at 4K highest graphic settings on the WinMax 2 2023 via Oculink and got a peak power usage of 167 watts. While I on a desktop, we got just 21 watts. In our fan and thermals test, also whilst running the Street Fighter 6 benchmark, we got a highest fan noise of 72 decibels and highest temperature of 60 degrees C. For these benchmarks, we spent many hours running benchmarks across two devices. The Ioneo Slide 7840U and GPD WinMax 2 2023 7640U model. For the Ioneo Slide we tested with a USB 4 connection with both an internal and external 4K monitor. And the same for the WinMax 2 23 but also with Oculink. We performed well over 200 benchmarks, I think that deserves a subscribe for dedication if you have not already. We have combined the results into three bar charts for each test, comparing Oculink performance on the WinMax 2 2023 and comparing USB 4 performance on both devices. We are not comparing Handel's performance as it's two different CPUs, this is an eGPU comparison only. We have made a spreadsheet available if you want to compare the results yourself. And finally, we have not used the 1x GPU turbo button in these benchmarks. We did see some occasional minor increases in performance on a couple of benchmarks when enabled, but for many tests the scores were identical. Our first benchmark is for 3 Mark, which tests the CPU and GPU performance. We ran Time Spy, Night Trade and Fire Strike tests. On the Oculink results we see essentially identical scores give or take a few frames. For the USB 4 tests, the Ioneo saw overall slightly higher performance on the GPD G1. And for the WinMax 23, we saw noticeably higher scores on a few results and closer scores on others. We are running Forza Horizon 5 on the very low graphic settings. In our Oculink results, we see almost identical scores across all of the benchmark results. In our Ioneo Slide USB 4 results, we see the G1 outperform on external display and have near identical scores on internal. 
and for the Winmax 23 we see near identical scores across the board. We are running Shadow of the Tomb Raider on the lowest graphic settings. In our Oculink results we see the usual bunching up of frames per second at 720, 1080 and 1440p on the external monitor and at 4K a considerable drop in performance on both eGPUs. For the Ioneo on USB we see noticeable differences in performance on external monitor with the G1 taking the lead. However for internal we see a much closer range of results. And for the Winmax 23 the results are near identical compared to each other. This game always gives us interesting results for comparison across different devices. Next is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on the minimal graphic settings with no FSR enabled. On Oculink we get the same scores across all of the tests. For the Ioneo slide we see the G1 take the lead at low resolution, but as we go higher the 1X GPU takes the lead. And for the Winmax 23 the results are essentially the same on both eGPUs. Our final benchmark is for Street Fighter 6 on the highest graphics settings to really stress the eGPUs. In the Oculink results we essentially get 60 frames per second on internal display at 1080p and roughly the same results on external. This pattern mostly repeats on the Ioneo slide with similar scores on both eGPUs. For the Winmax 23 we saw similar scores, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Across the benchmarks we saw mostly identical scores for Oculink. With USB 4 we do see some differences in performance and it is generally in favour of the GPD G1. And using an external monitor instead of internal whilst using USB will give a noticeable increase in performance. This is due to the data only travelling in one direction from handheld to eGPU and then to the monitor. Overall I would say the GPD G1 is very slightly faster in performance over USB only, but there's not much in it. We will finish up now with our final thoughts while showing some games running on the Ioneo slide via USB and the Winmax 223 via Oculink. We are aiming for 60 and above frames per second with the best resolution and graphic settings we can get. You can of course tailor the settings to your own preferences and these are just examples. Overall the 1X Player 1X GPU does very well as an eGPU. For Oculink performance we saw near identical benchmark results across all tests when compared with the G1. We saw varying performance with USB only connection. I would say the GPD takes the lead here but not by massive margins. In terms of features the 1X GPU leads over the G1. Firstly we have the internal SSD storage which is a great feature. Having easy access to more storage is never a bad thing. The 1X GPU has one additional HDMI port and as an Ethernet port something which the G1 surprisingly misses out on. But the G1 does have a SD card reader which the 1X lacks as well as one additional USB port. In terms of size the G1 is slightly larger but it does have the advantage of the PSU being internal only requiring a cable to power it. The 1X GPU requires that beast of a power supply which when combined with the eGPU itself weighs 1.5 kilos. The G1 and a cable combined weight is around 986 grams. This could be a crucial decider if portability is a requirement. Price wise they are around the same price give or take a few dollars here and there. So there's no outright winner there. Personally I would say the 1X GPU is the better eGPU docking station in terms of value for money and features. Whilst it slightly lacks in performance when using USB only, it does equal the G1 when using Oculink. Which one would you buy, the 1X GPU or G1? Let us know in the comments why as we are always interested to read the reasons when two similar products are available. You can learn more about the 1X Player 1X GPU and order yours today at droix.co.uk or droix.net for worldwide shipping. Use the discount code 1XGPU5OFF on the checkout for a discount. The code is valid for one month from this video being posted and cannot be used during store sales or promotions. Thanks for watching our 1X GPU review, we hope you have found it useful. 
and please take a moment to subscribe as it really helps to grow this channel and we can keep making reviews. Thanks.